Our next story is about India, China and the Himalayas. The military standoff between India and China along the line of actual control has reached a peaceful resolution but an entirely different kind of conflict, one that has been unfolding over millennia, is looming in the background. This conflict is about tectonic plates. Let's tell you what we are talking about. India's landmass is gradually slipping beneath the Tibetan plate of the Asian landmass, mainly comprising the current geographical area of China. You heard that right. The Indian tectonic plate is slowly being squeezed and swallowed in a way under the Tibetan plate at the rate of 5 to 6 centimeters per year. And as a result, India's landmass is shrinking. And this is also the reason why the Himalayas keep rising 5 millimeters per year, which means that Mount Everest keeps getting taller. You see, the earthquakes in the Himalayan region, particularly in northern India, occur due to pressure beneath the Earth's surface. This pressure builds up as the Indian plate slides under the Eurasian plate. The tension increases over time, quite similar to stretching a rubber band. Eventually, this tension is released when the ground shifts, causing an earthquake. Some areas in the Himalayas have not seen a major earthquake in over 500 years, leading experts to believe that a big quake may be overdue. And since we cannot prevent or predict when earthquakes will happen, it is important to build stronger earthquake-resistant buildings to protect lives. The clash between the Indian and Tibetan plates comes from a process called continental drift, which basically started about 60 to 70 million years ago. In this process is sometimes called the mega breakup. The Indian landmass was once part of a supercontinent called Gondwana land near Africa. Due to complex geological processes, the Indian plate started moving northward and basically floated like an island for a long time. And then about 10 to 15 million years ago, the Indian plate collided with the Asian plate, creating the Himalayan mountain range. And since then, the Indian plate has been slowly pushed under the Tibetan plate at a rate of 5 to 6 centimeters per year. To monitor this activity, scientists from the CSIR, Fourth Paradigm Institute in Bengaluru, have set up high accuracy reference, reference stations in Ladakh and in Bengaluru. By using advanced GPS instruments and satellites, they basically track how these landmasses move in relation to each other. They observed that in the last 25 years, Handley has moved almost 85 centimeters northeast, while Bengaluru has moved about 1.37 meters northeast. This movement basically creates stress that can lead to earthquakes. Just to sum it up, this is just a reminder that our planet Earth is always changing. Yes, the tectonic plates movement can lead to challenges, but researchers also believe that the Indian landmass will continue to be an important part of Earth geography for a very long time. To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.